let's upgrade some death spells with spellments. They just change the look of it. It's still too 35% weakness. This is, this is. All right, Dark Sprite is already at tier two, costing one pip. The damage went way down from the 65 to 105, and now it gives a healing weakness if they have a heal over time. Ay, that one's hard because, you know, not everyone uses a heal over time, but I don't use Dark Sprite anyway. So, sorry, my death doesn't use Dark Sprite hardly ever. So, let's upgrade this yet again. as now the dark sprite does the exact same amount of damage but the healing weakness now increases to 50 percent and then for tier 4 it increases to 55 percent and for tier 5 max it increases to 60 percent and then to get it to tier 4 i need 190 spellaments hey look i can upgrade this to tier 4. oh yeah because uh, i spent all my crowns on packs for this guess we could just do this thing because it's not like i'm going to choose the upper path like i said i'm not going to keep a bunch of these in because the condition has to be that they have a heal over time but you know upgrade yes of course let's do it i think you're gonna get a i think you're gonna get a bunch of tier fours today and then we need only 305 spellaments to get i know only <laughs> only to get to the rank five top tier and you know what He's more than halfway there, so that's not too bad. Next up is Ghoul. Going to tier three, you need 115 spellaments. If you took the upper path, the drain amount would go up and the percentage that you keep will go up. But on the lower path, the drain stays at 160, which I believe you can increase that with a sun enchant spell. And then it clears a shield on yourself for two 15% death blades. Then for tier three, that goes up to 20%. Tier four, that goes up to 25%. And tier five, you get two 30% death blades. Let's upgrade. To get to tier 4, you need 190 spellaments. Hey, this one's going to tier 4 as well. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. They did change this one. I don't know what in the world Gambit means, honestly. And they don't explain it on here. This one says that the top one was 180. I'm guessing this is the end tier, maybe? I don't know, like I said, the, the numbers are weird. Anyhow, it said it used to do 80 uh, drain, and they give you 70% back, and then, yeah, that must have been the the final tier five. So I'm just gonna assume all these are tier five. And now it does 185 and only gives 50% back, even though it would be nice if they said that. There's plenty of room on here to say that, just saying. And then the bottom path, well, the damage stays the same. How about that? It still stays at two pips. Yeah, it was three pips, now it's back to two pips. And it says it went from 170 to 160. It just says the drain is 160. It doesn't say how much it gives back though. That, eh, I don't really like that. <sighs> Conditional, used to remove a heal over time. Now, Gambit positive ward. <sighs> I just don't know what their Gambit means. I know what Gambit means in X-Men. I know what Gambit means in chess. But, you need like, uh, we need an Encyclopedia Wizica. Seriously. 160 drain. Then, if you have a shield, then you get two blades, and the blade amount goes up as you level it up. Let's level up. Now I get two 25% blades with that, which is pretty nice, actually. And then at max, I get two 30% blades. So, I mean, that's interesting because, you know, that's not really death's thing, shielding and such. And then like with the dark sprite, I just need a little bit more, a little bit less than half just to get it up to max tier. I don't think I've ever seen a glowing ghoul. <laughs> so cool. Next up is Banshee. Okay, so the upper path, the damage goes up, the accuracy goes up. For the lower path, the damage goes down and stays at a constant 235 to 275 damage, which of course, as always, can be upgraded with the sun enchant spells. This one costs three pips. Now it clears two charms on the target and then gives 50% weakness and healing weakness. And then for tier three, that goes up to 55% for both of those. And then for tier four, it goes up to 60% for both of those. And then for tier five, it goes up to 65% for both of those. Now I haven't tested this out yet, but I did hear that if it clears two of those, it gives two each of these. We shall see. Let's upgrade. Yes. Woo, look at that banshee. Okay, let's go back up. There's so many in here. <laughs> at least this one doesn't have too much crazy stuff. Okay, so, whoa, um, 
Yeah, no, what you just wrote on here is not correct. It said the damage went from 200 to 185. I'm guessing they mean this. It's almost like they're only thinking about the number in between these because yeah, 185 would be right in between 165 and 205 because yeah, that's definitely not 185 right there. And then the top tier is still the same. It's just doing damage and accuracy increase. Oh yes, 95% accuracy for death. Yes, very nice. But, you know, I wanted to test out these down here, and if I really don't like them, maybe I will just do the damage for, you know, a Banshee. I don't know yet. There you go. It used to do damage and then give a 15% universal weakness and 25% heal charm minus 25% heal charm. Now it does none of that. Now it has a conditional, when it didn't, it clears one or two positive charms and then gives one or two a minus 25% enemy school weaknesses or one or two for... One to two, minus 25% heal charm. So, <laughs> it used to just clear charms, and then, now it changed to giving some really, really horrible things. <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> it's so nice. No, they never change. It's just the damage on here that changes. So, it's not like you get, you know, this is 10, 15, 20, 25, nothing like that. So, no matter what, Banshee's awesome. Upgrade. Um, I don't know if it can get to tier four. If so, that'd be nice. It's at least going to tier three. All right, hey Banshee, we got any more? Yay, we can, we can do it. Let's upgrade it one more time, and um, let me see. Yep, it goes up five on either end yet again. Yay! Woohoo! Okay, yeah, now it's doing 160 to 200. I mean, it's not too bad. It's only three pips, which, as long as you have some sort of uh, power pip rating and you start with two pips, then uh, you're good to go. Ooh, wow. All of these, we are like more than halfway to go. That's very, very nice. I mean, it's nowhere near 245 to 305, but uh, you know, you're after those effects, you know what I mean? Alrighty, the upper path on Vampire does the same thing as the tier one, where it drains and gives half back to you. That one costs four pips, and the accuracy goes up as you upgrade it, and the drain amount goes up a little bit as you upgrade it, but instead of half, then it goes to 55%, and then stays at 55% and then it goes to 60%. However, the bottom path still costs four pips. The accuracy doesn't go up and the drain amount goes up. And then it seems like it does an additional 60% drain if they have a heal over time. Very, very interesting. I'm excited to test this one out. So let's upgrade this. Yes, we want the lower path. Ooh. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get it to tier four, but we'll see, we'll see. Again, changing the wording to Gambit. So they're not giving you as much back. It said it went from, it used to do 335 at max, giving you 60% back. It does 360 damage and then gives you 50% back. So uh, is that more or is that the same? Uh, no, it did more before. So 201 versus 180 now. All right, so it says before, top path, yeah, we did the math on this. So technically you got more by doing 335 and getting 60% back than doing a 360 damage and getting 50% back. It's all good because we're not even getting 360 anyway. So I'm not too worried about that one. However, the bottom path, so they did the drain from 270 to 335. Yes, that is what this one actually says this time. Thank you, thank you. And then, okay, it used to clear a heal over time. Now it gambit one or two negative charms i i just don't even like saying it because it, the word itself makes no sense okay and i'm sorry for those of you who totally understand all of it which is great good for you if the target has a negative charm see i don't get it why this this wording is like ridiculous gambit to negative charm on target four minus 60 weakness why can't you just say if they have a negative charm it puts on a negative 60 weakness doesn't that make more sense it's called words people words so it used to clear a heal over time and then give a minus 50 universal shield you know that one was actually nice that was nice, but now it gambit one or two negative charms, whatever those mean, and then gives one or two minus 60. Mm, 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 mm. So wait a second, if you stacked the uh, negative healing charm, you could put on two minus 60 of their school, by the way. Now this one doesn't say that, right? No, maybe that's what the gambit means. It means like of that target's school, I don't know. If anybody knows, yeah, you can tell me because I don't know. There's never been an actual thing from them, as far as I know, what the word gambit means. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Rochambeau. They love to call it that, but um, you don't want to know what Rochambeau means to me. Yay, upgrade, yay, woohoo. I don't think we're gonna get to tier four. Yes, hi, Sweepy. Oh, you're so sweet. 
Okay, so yeah, we can upgrade this. Let's go. All right, next. Uh, yes, we definitely don't have enough for tier five. We're not even halfway to tier five. So next. Well, since how there's no possible way to do headless, let's see what they say about headless. Headless horsemen used to do, excuse me, used to cost four pips. Now it's three pips and a death pip. We know that. Used to do 485, now it's 460. And then the secondary effect used to be a minus 45% life accuracy charm. Just why? Now it's a minus 35% enemy school accuracy charm. And of course I can't pop up the game because you're a butt. So there you go. So whatever they are, I get it, I get it. But there there should be some way to, to, to specify that. Because apparently it says enemy school negative charm. So this is not a universal one. This is only for who you're casting it on, which 35 is pretty rough, actually. It's pretty rough. And then do we have any way to boost negatives? I don't think so, not yet. But that would be nice. I would enjoy that. And skeletal pirate. The upper path does more damage as you upgrade it. You get more accuracy as you upgrade it, and it stays at five pips. The lower path, however, tier two, the damage goes down a lot, and then it clears up to two heal over times for a 15% shield on yourself. I'm guessing it's on yourself. Why would you put it on them? And then tier three, damage goes up, and the shield stays the same. Then for tier four, the damage stays the same, and the shield goes up to 20%. And then for tier five, max tier, the damage stays the same again at 350, and now you get a 25% shield for clearing the overtimes. I'm not sure if you clear two overtimes, you get two of those. We'll have to see. Upgrade. Yes. And yet again, falling short on getting that to tier three, which costs 115 spellments. So skeletal pirate. Well, um, yeah, we might be up to tier four today. Used to do 470. And then if enemy has one or two heal over times, then it does 160 or 320 damage, obviously. 160 each. Now it it clears up to two heal over time and then gives you minus 50 universal shields, one or two of those, depending on how many heal over times you're gonna clear. From tier two to tier three, the damage goes up, but the shield doesn't change. And then tier four, the shield goes up to 45. And then for tier five, the shield goes up to 50. So that's pretty nice. And you get up to two of those. So that's pretty sweet. We can deal with that. I likes it, but you know, yay, upgrade this. We want the more damage. I wish I could have a closer look at that book. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I bought a lot of those packs. I think it was like 9,000 crowns worth just because I was tired of <laughs> farming. <laughs> ah, you know, lazy, lazy wizards. Good morning. Well, more than halfway to tier five. Nice. Nice. And Wraith, I know, is only going to get to tier two. We don't have enough to get to tier three. The upper path is exactly the same as tier one, where it does a drain and swaps half to you. However, on the bottom path, the pip cost is the same and the damage went uh, like way up. So that's cool. And then if you have a blade, it gives a, whew, it gives a 50% weakness to the target if you have a blade. So, wah, yeah, yeah, awesome, amazing. And the damage slash drain stays the same as you upgrade it, except for tier three, it gives a 55% weakness and then a 60% weakness and then a 65% weakness. Yeah, by the way, these, these weaknesses are fantastic. But if you really want to best utilize ones that get a boost off of any weakness, put a healing weakness on them. Most people aren't going to remove that. Let's go. Hello, you squeaky cheeked piggle. And I need 115 spellments to get it to that tier three with the 55 weakness. Yeah. So it says top path drain went from, oh God, look, here's a calculator thing, but whatever. So 515 with 60% back to 555 with 50% back, which uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be like the other one where uh, you get more the original way, but whatever. But it doesn't even say how much you get back. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why they wouldn't just like tell us how much you get back. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, right? Okay, so the bottom path used to be if the enemy has a negative charm, gives a minus 25 universal weakness. And of course, we're only referring to tier fives when we're reading their notes. These are their notes, these are not my notes. Spiders, oh, you can't see this, dang it. Uh, here, I'll show you. No, 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 no. 
I just turned it on with my boob. So, I'll give you a recap of my morning. Somebody was a little bit too loud. Why would you do that after telling me spiders drop from the ceiling on you? I'm not warning me. I still don't, I don't trust you. I, I didn't do it like that. It was just, there was that one hair that was like really like, you know, your hair's like this, nice and flowy. And this one was like, Meow. so I just, you know, was trying to straighten it. You're like, I didn't chuck the pitcher thing of vinegar. I would have checked it. <laughs> Why would you do it? There's nothing here. I don't I've care. I cleaned it except for over there. <laughs> We're like way going. over there. I can't clean above the plant. See, again, gambit one or two positive charms. Conditional result one or two minus 230 enemy school weaknesses. Why does it have to be enemy school weakness? Why can't it just be universal? But whatever. I mean, this is only a singular hit anyway. So, tis what it is, what it is. So, let's see. Tier two to tier three, what changes? The uh, 220 stays the same and it does more drain. And it doesn't tell you how much you get back. Okay. Yes, it says absolutely nothing about the damage or the drain. It doesn't say how much you get back. It says nothing. So this one does this thing and then hits. I mean, it doesn't say it clears them on you, which is handy, I guess. Vanessa Frog Pants. I like the name. Very nice, very nice. It's definitely at least getting to tier four. I can tell by the numbers. So next, yay, let's go tier four, tier four. Yay, the final death spell that he's got. Someday I will get my little bums up. Maybe Wiz would stop updating the game so far or so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, we almost have enough. Okay, it's not quite half, but we're still pretty far up into getting Wraith to max tier, which is fantastic. So the drain goes up every time, but for some reason between tier two and tier three, the uh, the weakness doesn't. But the nice thing is, is that this is a set weakness. This is not a percentage weakness. When I first saw Rizalgo, I'm like, 300%? How cruel? No, it's a 300 damage. I think we're finally done with this. Ah, oh, the shadow spells got changed. Uh, Lulu does the same amount of damage, but you only get 40% back instead of 50. Snack attack, no PVP. The top path is no PVP. The bottom path, let's see, instead of three pips and a shadow pip, it costs five pips and a shadow pip. And instead of doing 250 damage, it does 545 damage. So you know what? Going up by two pips and mm, more than doubling the damage, yes please. And then it steals a positive charm from everyone. Uh, that's great. That's great. I love it. Because, you know, when you're fighting those critters that, like, they're all the same and they all blade up. Yeah. Okay. And then, let's see. Grim Reader. All versions. Okay. So, it went from 25% universal weakness, two of those, to, to 35 percenters. Okay. <laughs> Minus 35%. Top path is no PvP. The damage went up just a little bit. The bottom path, instead of four pips and a shadow pip, now costs six pips and a shadow pip. But it does almost 300 more damage than it did before. And then again, there's the PvP ones, but uh, I don't use those. So, y'alls, that's that. And we are completely out of stuff to upgrade. Okay, anything different on, um, where are we, where are we? Ship of Fools. It says all versions, well, got changed from four pips to two pips and a death pip. And the base damage went from 275 to 300. So it says, uh, that will be this one here, yes. But see, it says it gives 50% back. So, yeah. And this one is not a drain. This is just a hitting all, which is nice. It is very, very nice. But nothing really changed there. So, instead of making this easy to read like it used to be, confusing personages like myself, it literally says the exact same thing. Uh, so, I just don't know why they changed the wording on here to say gambit to confuse people. See, I don't, I don't understand the difference of the wording if enemy has negative charm turned into gambit enemy negative charm. What does that mean? What is the difference? Uh, I understand that's literally what the card says, but that doesn't tell me what it does. Does anybody know what gambit means in difference to if enemy has? Because I thought that's what it was. I thought the whole gambit thing was a conditional. And then this one says conditional result changed from 225 to 230. Um, yes, we're still talking about the maxes, so yeah. Now, Monster Mash is still the same. 
Um, now, this still does not say negative damage. So, my advice still, put a healing weakness on them. No one ever removes those, ever. So, for six pips, you can just keep hitting this thing with the Monster Mash doing extra damage. Oh, by the way, yes, you of course you can boost it up. You can, you can boost this up. This can be like 900, if you have Epic, of course. So, and then if you put that negative healing charm on them, it does 215 more. <sighs> I'm so glad they didn't wreck it. They just made it more confusing. It was so obvious before what it said. And now people are like, what's this gambit thing? And yes, I know, getting a lot of flack from people who already know who all the, what all this stuff is. It's great if you know how to read all these. Fantastic. You make a guide. <laughs> Don't tell people, just read the thing over here. You should just get it already. It's not that hard, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I can't stand it when people say, it's not that hard. Why don't you get it? You know what? Not everybody understands everything the exact same as everybody else. Because see, that makes sense. That's like English. <laughs> if, da, 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 da. How about this? What about the players in other countries? Are they gonna know what Gambit means? Are they gonna use a different term for it? You know what I mean? Like, it's very, very interesting. Okay. <gasps> Rant over? Yeah, right. When is the rant ever over? Okay. Dear Knight. Oh my God. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh gosh. This thing has like so many stuff to read just for Dear Knight. All right. Well, I think it looks exactly the same as the last thing that they showed us. So I think they're just trying to give an explanation of what this says. So pip cost went from five to three and one death pip, which is fine. Yep, yep, three into death pip, three into death pip, because it's lore, and that's what they did. Um, and the base, which I'm guessing is tier one, <laughs> it went from no restrictions to classic only. See, that's what I'm saying, no PvP. Why can't they just say no PvP? Urgh. Anywho, and then the top path went from no restriction to no PvP. I'm not even going to say classic only. And then the damage went from doing only 180 to doing 320. Yes, still we're only referring to the tier fives. So th when they say base, they mean tier one. <laughs> we're ignoring tier two, three, and four. And then when they're talking about the changes, they are only referring to what you're getting at max. It, you still get the damage and the damage over time. I mean, a lot of people would like just the straight damage on all enemies, which is great. Okay, so the damage went way up. It went from 180 to 320, so almost double. But the DOT went from 420 over three rounds to 270 over three rounds. So they just kind of move some move some stuff around, which I'm okay with that because I much prefer to have the damage boom right there and then the heal over time, which is fine. Okay, and then the bottom path is totally new. So they say uh, damage is 320, which no, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Oopsie. And then gives 20% Universal Weakness AOE. Yeah. So that's good. At least it says... I mean, it would be nice if they put all enemies down here. Because, I mean, you would have to anyway because it is that lovely little symbol there, which means it hits everybody. So there's that. There's that. <gasps> Next. Yeah. And so you don't have Dear Knight, so we're not worried about that one. Um, let's see, did you change anything with Lord of Night other than Lord of Night, Lord of Night? Okay, so it did get changed from its initial one, of course, from five pips to three pips and a death pip. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, three pips and a death pip. And then it went from giving a minus 25% healing trap. Yeah, I, I don't like that anyway because it's like incoming heal and... I mean, I guess I could work on a boss, but who else would that work for other than PvP? Hey, at least you can use this one in PvP. Anywho, now this one does a minus 40% heal charm, which is only for outgoing healing. I mean, yes, you can heal yourself, but it'll still affect the outgoing heal from you. That's lots of to upgrade. We got Dark Sprite, Ghoul, Banshee, Vampire, Skilled Pirate, and Wraith. Thanks so much, everyone, for checking out upgrading these death spells with spellmans. And hey, what do you think? Did I choose the wrong paths? Let me know. Which ones do you like? And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.